Well, well. But you look like hell. I know I look like hell, Dad. Everyone who gets up at this hour looks like hell. Is that my hat? What are you doing here? Oh, you know, just interrupting an official briefing and being a general pain in my ass. I know, after I living with him for 17 years. <laughs> I don't know what you want me to say to you. I don't know either. You lost the case. You lose. She's on the winning side, you're on the losing side. She's the winner. You're the loser. Awesome. What exactly are you up to? All right, look, Sean, I went to this school, too, so it was my school long before it was yours. Okay. You said you never had the opportunity to visit me when I was working a real job, and now I have a real job. Sean, this is not a real job. It sure it is. Oh, no, I think I got makeup on this T-shirt. Has anyone seen Ivan? Acting is not a real job, Sean. It's me, Papa. Don't be an idiot. I'm not one of your fans. I barely even like you. OK, you got me. I'm startled. What are you doing here? Well, maybe we're both psychics. I am serious. What are you doing here? Well, maybe we're both psychics. I am serious. Please, just do me this one favor. Would you listen to the man's story? Tell him you can't help. Send him to the cops. And whatever you do, don't do it with all that rolling your eyes around and all that floppy crap. Rolling your eyes around and all that floppy crap. Hey. Sean, Sean, who is this guy in my kitchen? All right, look, Dad, let me explain. No, this. don't, don't. Don't say another word. I don't want to know. Just get whatever it is out of my house before I have to call someone or some agency. Uh, oh, would you please put me in a separate room from these idiots? I will tell you everything. Just... You hear his biting. You... It's not Pike, is it? As a matter of fact, it was Pike. Man, the Pike is biting! Yeah, well, Pike is a freshwater fish. In case you morons haven't noticed, that's the ocean out there. Sean, I could do this a simple way. I could grab it from you, clean up any evidence of a struggle before you and your little friend here knew it hit you. Some states, that's called child abuse. You've already made your decision irrespective of the facts. You have already compromised this case. Compromised? Why? Because I'm not afraid of my own emotional attachment? I'll have you know that I view that as a tool in my problem yeah, solving, yeah, not a liability. It's that exact kind of lame ass thinking. I can see why you were never a detective. Listen to me, I'm not going out onto the reef. The place is off limits to people. I'm not going to lose my boat. I'm not going to lose my license to follow some stupid lame ass hunchiers. You're really not going to budge on this? What do you think? I'm going to lose my license to follow some stupid lame ass hunchier. Stupid lame ass hunchier. We have to keep the gelato cold in the car. You two girls are useless. Sean, didn't you learn? 18. My son. The super sleuth can't even get himself access into an old folks home. No, no. Cupcakes. Dad, I am not on drugs. Oh, nobody thinks that, Sean. Well, I'm not completely sure about that. Dad. We're all just a little concerned that you might be stretching yourself a bit too thin. Was my idea, but he's right, Sean. You're acting like a nut job. Your father tells me you have delusions of magical powers. Delusions? Really? No. You tipped him off? You tipped him off about my bike? Who taught you how to drive, Sean? Who do you represent every time you're out on that road? I don't represent anybody when I go out on the road. Dad, they took my bike. Tell it to the embassy. And I, I, I might not be able to get it out of the impound. No, well, then maybe it's time for you to consider a real mode of transportation. Huh? Or your old man cross line, fine. I'll tell you what, I will back off. I'm going to lay off, man. I'll tell you what you do. You take me off your call list the next time the ambulance picks you up and brings you in that door. All right? Fair. The truth, Sean. You're not really my son, are you? Because I gave you a watch with the inscription, don't lose. And what is the first thing that you do? I lose the watch. You lose the watch. Hey, I found the bullet. But hey, you didn't find the killer, did you? You need to find the killer. I'm getting something. It's not dull. Sharp's storage. Disclosed. Did you just pretend to be a psychic to me? Sorry, it's force of habit. I did not change the rules. What I did was nail it, and you know it. Sean, you want my advice? Go out, get yourself a real job, grow up. In the meantime, you might want to ask yourself who you're trusting in this case, and maybe you shouldn't. Because obviously, you're overlooking somebody. Thanks for lunch. So someone snuck a three-foot snake into the lodge and killed him during the ceremony. The perfect crime. Right. Except there are no marks left on the body. Oh, so we're looking for an invisible snake. You know, Sean, right, that, that's it. Right, right there. That is your problem. Maybe you'd be better off looking for something that you can see. There is a pecking order right in front of your eyes. Oh, Dad, you're going to ruin my diagram. It's, uh, it's... Yep. Who's at the top? Huh? Who's the next guy in line? I know where the top is. You could have just pointed. Now there's coke all over everything. Forget it. 
grow up. He was too good. Too good? What did I raise you to do? It was literally the perfect crime. The perfect crime. There is no such thing as a perfect crime, right, well, Sean. Fine. Well, then it was as close as you can possibly get. The close. only way it's close is if you make it look like the perfect crime. Mountain lions. You're right. You should talk to a mountain lion. Who did this? They did. Damn fool shot themselves. Who the hell left him with a BB gun, Sean? I did. I, I mean, they, they said they wanted to be able to defend themselves. Dumb move. Get into that. Do we did? I trained him to be a real detective. He wanted to be a professional asswipe instead. Well, Sean, I've been worried about you since you were three years old and started eating your own toenails. That's an amazing coincidence. Didn't you confiscate a BB gun from me in the second grade? All right, look, Sean, here's your stuff. Next time you want something from me, be an adult and ask for it. Passing yourself off as a psychic, that's bad enough. But horoscope, Sean, Sean! I'm in there trying to do something. You seem to forget whose name you got at the end of your letterhead, kid. When you use my name, it is my business as well. Give me my phone. Took you long enough to figure out the kidney stone. <laughs>